living your most authentic expression is really going to come to the forefront of your awareness as all karmic conditioning and some scars have been burned away. So as you come into karmic completion of life patterns and themes that have been limiting you in some way throughout your life and those karmic those karmic themes come to completion, those some scars are burned away. The only thing left to create your life from then is the dreamer within, the infinite, limitless potential that you are it gets to kind of rise to the surface so to speak and now you get to play with this energy consciously and so many are at this stage right now where major life themes are coming to completion and you've been called and guided to live your most authentic expression and I can say that this is going to pull you into more unifying qualities at this point as well, because you're moving into unity-based consciousness. You're transcending ego fear-based separation consciousness. And so unifying qualities, what I mean by that, things that, qualities that bring people together. So compassion, empathy, harmony, collaboration, truth, being honest, integrity, authenticity, love. These are unifying qualities. And so you're naturally going to be guided to embody these unifying qualities as you deepen on this journey. Self-realization is really just the starting point of your spiritual journey. Everything else prior to that is kind of just warm up. So once you realize your true nature as the divine presence that you are, and also realize what you're not, then the only thing left to do is to self-actualize that and fully embody it in this lifetime, your divine authentic expression and embodied awakening. So self-realization is really just the kindergarten of enlightenment. Then you go through this deepening, clearing, purifying, coming into more unifying, embodying more unifying qualities within the mind-body vehicle, the character, like being able to ground it into 3D reality and live your highest divine expression. And so this is why you're going to be called to um, more unifying qualities within your life and life is going to be reflecting back to you a mirror of all the places that you were not in alignment with let's say your soul core values the values that are deep within that are going to be bubbling up to the surface as you continue to deepen on this journey and i can say for myself for example it has been authenticity and integrity above all else authenticity integrity truth freedom and love if, if it's not rooted in truth freedom love authenticity and integrity and obviously those all very much intertwine then it's not resonant with 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 my authentic highest expression in this lifetime and it becomes very clear on this journey where those areas are that are not in alignment so you can purify them and um yeah so you'll see a lot of your life shifting and changing and the thing about this is the dreamer within you the child within you the one that's connected at, or is embodying already the the infinite possibilities in your infinite nature just like a small child would when you see a small child they are they are not hindered in any way uh, and they're fearless the child is children are fearless have you noticed that they're fearless and they don't care what anybody has to say about their dream. If they want to be a, a dinosaur when they grow up, they're going to be, they want to be a dinosaur when they grow up. There's nothing that stops them from dreaming, right? 
And so they're also very, very creative in nature, right? Which shouldn't be a surprise since you are creation itself. You are a divine creator. You are one with the creator. When you are truly tapped into your divine essence, you are very creative. Creativity just flows as part of, it's, it's a clear sign that you're in the flow with your divine essence when you're just in the flow of divine creation, right? And so this is what's being asked of so many at this phase of the journey that are really, um, you know, here as new earth leaders, no longer allowing fear-based consciousness to run the show, no longer allowing the mind to get you trapped in what's possible um, and fear-based thinking or even linear thinking for that matter. This is where all the synchronicities occur. This is where all the magic occurs. This is where, this is where you get to experience within your direct experience that the divine is always there supporting you and has never left you. And when I say you, this sounds paradoxical because you are the divine essence and paradoxically, you're also having a human experience. The divine is having a human experience. You are the divine having a human experience. And so, yeah. I don't know where else, I think that's about it for now. So I hope this finds you well. I hope this message landed if it was meant to resonate with you. And until next time, namaste.